we're back. I want to cover up the board just a little bit as I go around. So let me just cut out do a little bit of a circle thing here. Just kind of go like this just to, so I don't have to clean up the board as quite as much. Because if I have to wipe these black boards, uh, sometimes the, that black comes off. This is the Americolor uh, Silver Sheen uh, airbrush color. Okay, if you don't have this, then you have to use the new silver and alcohol and paint it with a brush, which will we'll take it away. So I just pour this in, make sure it's coming out, and start spraying. Love this stuff. Whoops, whoops. Okay, so that's all finished there. Um, I have some things here. I've used uh, chocolate molds for these. Um, I've got a tennis racket. I've got one that had the tools in it, electrical outlet, one that had the golf um, clubs in it, one that has garden tools. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one or not. Uh, fishing. It's got a lure and a, um, a reel, hockey and a hockey puck. And I was also going to maybe make um, a few ties to kind of put around. All right, so for a lot of this, I'm going to use, um, this is the um, gold dust and a soft brush, so it's just dry. And I'm going to make most of this racket gold, because it's supposed to be like Dad's getting a big award, so I think I'm going to keep a lot of it in the silvers and the golds, and then add just a few little accent colors. So again, I'm just dry brushing it. Then move it over here, and I'm going to do the handle on this one in this deep blue color. So let me just roll some of this out. Just enough to go over there, really. Cut a straight straight line there. It's not quite wide enough. Or actually, I should just go this way. Okay, yeah. Usually, you don't, on chocolate, the fondant will stick to chocolate. If it doesn't for some reason, you can put a little bit of shortening on there first. So I'll just do this, cut around it. I'm just going to try to pick this up and not touch the gold part because then I'll get gold all over the fondant also. Okay, and then what I want to do is go ahead and put the, some of those lines back on this fondant. So I can do that with the toothpick like this. And then this one, I thought I would actually lean this one. If you look at the cake, it looks off the bottom part, the base. So how you can fix that is, is take your eye off of it. So this big racket, I thought what I would do is lean it actually up here like this against here. And then uh, you won't notice that. Like this. So to get that to stick, what I want to do is use a little bit of chocolate. Okay, so if I want a little bit at the base, a little bit up here, 